everybody, today for the 50 sub special part 2, I'm going to be showing all of you how I make my stop motions. So, you go to the app store or whatever, which one, you can download Stop Motion Studio or for the best effects, Stop Motion Studio Pro right here, the purple, which I use. Because with this one, you can have a green screen, you can draw, draw. So, this is how I make my videos. So first, you want a tripod. Or you can have something to hold your phone. Just make sure you hold your phone to stand still. So we'll just do that. Don't mind, don't mind his rig. But. And then you want to get your figure. If your figure doesn't stand well, like, for example, Enforcer, like, if he can't, well, he can stand right there. But if, he, if you want him to stand like this, someone to stand like this, but they fall. On Amazon, they, there's figure stands for $17. It's a bit pricey, but they can hold your figures well. Well, you can't really see it because it's translucent, but you just turn that up. You can kind of see it. There it is. Comes with a lot of them. You can just turn down the green all the way. You can change the focus also. You can change the focus. Like, if you want him over here. If you wanted to zoom in better, change the focus. Boom. And then get your stand, plug it into its back, their back, and boom, they can stand still. And then you want to get your character in their position. And if you're going to stay on one frame, I would go with two frames per second. But if you're going to go like fast, change it to 15. And then I um, want to press it. And then every time you take a picture, move it a bit. Move. 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 And then that's boom. And if you wanna if you wanna see how it is so far, right above the 23, not those lines, but right below the red button, you can go there and you can see how it goes. See how it looks. And then I recommend if you want blood in it sometimes. Get the red Play-Doh. Unless you want to be... You must have ketchup, but it will ruin stuff. And for green screen, all you need is to go to Dollar Tree or Dollar General, whichever one it is for you guys. And all you really need is just four pieces of green paper or three and cut one of them into two. And that's really just how you can get a green screen. Not that hard. It's like four little bucks for a green screen. But... If you want like lighting, like when Godzilla shoots his breath, I don't know exactly where these are, but you can get like these stands, night lights, and they come with this, and you can just turn it on, change the color, and then boom. And then if it's like, you can see the green screen, just change the green right here. And then if you wanna draw like Godzilla's atomic breath, you can always just, Go here, go take a picture of them, or just take some pictures, and then go to one of the pictures, go to edit, press this plus, go to add drawing, and then you can change the colors, the opacity, opacity, the brush size, and the colors. We're gonna go with blue because that's Godzilla, and then you and then you can just draw, and then. If you want to do it for the other one, just go press that arrow, do it again, press the arrow, do it again. And yeah, and if you are, and if you have Transformers, I would change the FPS to 8. And then ever so slightly move it. So like, we have Bumblebee here. Check out the review if you haven't seen it. But you just go to 8. I go to eight, and then but ever so slightly like move it, like boom, boom, boom. Or I think I should you should start off in the car and then do it. But that's how I make my transformers transform unless they need to do it fast. But yeah, so that's how I make my videos. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. And thank you all for 50 subscribers. And at the time I'm making this, almost a thousand views on my most popular video. That's insane. But I hope you all have a good day. Now, goodbye.